Welcome back to Global's Automotive. I'm here in my house. Um, if anybody saw my post on YouTube, the community post, I had posted, uh, I just got done doing a friend's forced air heater repair. The problem was that it would not turn on and the blower would kick on. No hot air, only cold. So there was no flame, uh, no igniter, and this is the old unit. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and uh, basically take apart one of these relays. Uh, if I recall, I think it's the second one in, which is this guy right here, which is the relay for the igniter. And that was one of the issues. Now you can see here on the back, we have some heat spots but not enough to say that they're cooked. Not enough to say that they're cooked, not in my opinion. I don't know. All that is is a resistor right here, so. Let me get my gloves on. Thank you. Um, so, what I have, my suspicion was, Okay, that the sequence on the board itself uh, was pretty much going as, it's, as it should, okay? But the output side was not happening. Um, there's a status LED light right here in the corner. And this links according to whatever's wrong, whatever the board thinks it ro it's, is wrong, um, whatever it sees. So, if everything on this side of the board uh, it, whatever it is monitoring is, is seeing that it's okay, then it will just disregard it and, and not blink, not throw a code per se, just like a vehicle. Uh, Alright, so what I'm going to use to power the relay is this 20 volt lithium battery. Okay, I have uh, some AES leads here, the paddles. Um, on the battery itself, we have positive negative, positive and negative marked, and these relays are, I think, 24, 24 volts, minimally 18, so this should at least uh, activate the coil in the relay, good enough. What I have on the one end are the paddles for my kit, so negative, positive, and on the other ends, I want to have my little needle uh, probe so I can stick on the board in order to activate it. I don't care about hurting this board. It's uh, it's not going to be used. It's not going to be installed. And I don't think polarity matters. But this side is the output. So these big tabs are the output. And the input would be these little things down here. Uh, hmm. I wish I could see. I'm going to go ahead and, um, first of all, see if I can trace positive, negative, uh, just for the heck of it. And I'll turn you guys back on in a second. Okay, I'm going to start out by putting these in there. Places. This is positive. And let me see where the ends are. Okay, good. And negative. And that should be hot at all times. Um, maybe I'll undo this guy. I'll put the cap on this. I don't know how to set this up very well. I wanted to have my meter already on. It is on resistance. Okay, and when it's continuity, it will sound. Beads are a little old. But it works. Okay. Stick to the side. Undo my power. I have this ready to go. I need it.
Okay. That's all in one tab there. And the relay. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's the relay here, I believe. What I'm going to try to do is take this cover off. I'm trying to do so without causing damage to the actual unit because I just want to prove that that theory that I had that the contact isn't closing on the output side of the relay. I'm going to activate it though. I want to make sure I have the right legs. Um, there has to be a way. I should, I should be able to see coil side, uh, the switch, and then this. Okay. I got nothing on either of this guy again. Oh, unless I don't have power here, let me see. Bolts, DC, maybe that's the issue. I'm pretty sure that battery is charged up. That would be horrendous. 20 volts. All right, cool. We're good there. I guess I'll work on trying to get this off. At least the cover. And I'll show you. Mm. Okay. Okay, so I just got this cover off. Here's one cover for this, the first guy. This will tell me how to activate the coil. I'm gonna try powering the one next to it. I'm pretty sure it's the ones on the end, the pins on, on the back end. Um, so if it's this guy. Hmm. Maybe it's those two. Oh, maybe I had the wrong pins. Alright, we'll try that. Hopefully it's quiet. Let me see. Uh, I'll put this cat back on just to keep it elevated. And here goes nothing. Ready? That's it. That was coil. Now prove that again. Not hot. Um, back to volts. We'll check this out again. One, two, oops, yeah. voltage. 20 volts. Okay, so that's still good. All right. So this first guy is definitely moving. Those are the points. And what I want to verify, let me see the contacts are from there to there. Okay. So it's these fat guys in between. Boom to boom. We'll verify that. I'm gonna get some alligator clips here. Uh, one, two. Sorry, you made. 
Okay, uh, one. Yep, continuity there. Okay. Bring it back to continuity. With sound, okay. And I think it's this. That's the same guy, okay. So when it's closed, this guy's gonna open. I don't know if I can get that on there with this all together. Ana Maria! I need you to hold this down, okay? Don't move the camera. Watch your feet, okay? Hold that down, and I need you to hold this on that pin. Got a nice, nice good pressure, okay? You got that? Okay. And do not shot. Ready, uh, this guy. So that first coil, you can hear activating. That coil is good. That is not the igniter coil. Okay, so now we're going to move this over. Hold that for a second. And you're going to take this for a second here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and test the second guy, which I, I'm assuming that the coil side is good, but the output side is bad. I'll prove that. This is the igniter point. I'll put this here on the side like, like that. Okay, you can reach like that. Down there. And then this, where's the other end? I think it's this guy right here. Okay? You good there? Okay. And so we're going to activate this guy. Let's see. Nothing. I think that coil is 100% bad now. It's not even switching, because I could swear I heard this guy uh, switching before. Maybe I, I hit something I shouldn't have. I'm trying to take this apart, maybe. In here. Um, it doesn't matter which one's which. That can go down there. On the edge. This guy goes here. Again, like, give it pressure. Okay, and we'll attempt to activate that coil again. Nope, it's got direct connection. That's not it. <laughs> Warming up the leads. <laughs> okay, so I tried, as you saw, powering up the coil, but the coil is direct shorted now. Uh, I even checked it with the, the meter itself. I still have it on continuity. Okay. The second coil, you'll see. Uh, pin the pin. Dead short. Okay. So, less than 7 ohms of resistance. So, that right there is telling me it's done. But I was examining the switch on the relay itself, and you can see. Can you zoom in a little more there? A little more. Okay, right there. Now you can see this guy is the, the switch. And you can see on the bottom there, maybe I should use a light to help uh, light it up. Oh, uh, uh, daughter to the rescue. This guy right here. If you look right here. There we go. Right there. And you can see the bottom part, that's the switch. It should go in that position to close to make it come out of the tab on the board. So there you have it. I couldn't prove it to you guys the way I wanted to. Um, it was just a fail. <laughs> and the whole relay and everything, you can go ahead and zoom back out a little bit. We'll get them off. Okay. Um, the whole relay and everything just got a little bit obliterated. So I don't know if the coil short shorted with me attempting to take the cover off or what, but 
uh, to, to my findings for the heater job that I did. Sorry, couldn't do a better job. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys, and hope you enjoyed it, learned it, something, I don't know.